Good news, everyone! The power supply for my original Xbox came in. If you watched the Game Chat episode from a couple of days ago, I told the story about how I fried the power supply in my original Xbox. I was trying to re-solder a uh, broken solder joint, and it... I left the cable plugged in uh, and stuck it the wrong way, and it blew. It was not pleasant. But I uh, went on and ordered a new one. It came a day early, so I'm able to go on and film this and give it out for everyone to enjoy. And there we go. One Xbox power supply. Very nice. It's a little... Ah, hit the tripod. It's a little dusty, but I think the unit's going to be in okay shape. It looks pretty good. So let's go on and set this right here. Now, I left my screws pretty much, well, unscrewed in the Xbox because there really was no reason to go on and seal it back up. I knew I had ordered the power supply, and I wanted to go on and just be able to get in here, pop the new one in, and do it as quickly as I could. Thing's still in frame? Yes, it is. Awesome. screw all of these. I still love how right here and right here they have the screws so that they know if you've voided your warranty. Especially add in the fact that you have to go straight through the little uh, caution symbol right there. <sighs> For those of you who've never seen it, there's the inside of an Xbox. Alright, change out my bits because I have to use a smaller bit for this. I forget what type of Torx head it is, but it's the little star bit. It's easy to get into get these, so you can easily get into an Xbox. It's not like Nintendo and their crazy proprietary security tool. Might want to get something to store these in. I use a CD case. That'll work. Probably not the best, but it'll do it. I always hate pulling this cable out. <clears throat> and there goes the hard drive bay. A simple little plastic assembly holding an old 8 gigabyte hard drive, no big. And there's the power supply. And if you look, let's see, do I even have it on camera? Oh, the Xbox is heavy. You'll see that they are pretty much identical. So, now it's just a matter of getting the rest of the guts out of here and installing the uh, new power supply. Let's do it. Now, the thing that annoys me most about this is there's an excruciatingly annoying screw right there. I've got the camera on like a super zoom. And then there's an additional one over here. That one's easy to get, but this first one, that's tricky. So let's see if we can... Well, you know what? Let's... Let's undo this one first. Really, also kind of wish I had a magnetic head on these. But I don't like using magnetic heads around anything that has a hard drive. Alright. That screw is out. There it is. Everything is gone out of focus. I don't know, it was just my hand was up too high. This camera's got a great zoom on it, but uh, the auto focus and manual focus are not so great, and you can't see anything right now. Let me zoom back out and I'll continue with this. There we go. And yes, I realize I'm doing this on carpet. I know I should be on anti static stuff, but uh, Darn, that happened again. But I just don't uh, have anything available that's large enough. I don't feel like going into another room and dealing with the cats trying to get all up in everything I'm doing. There we go. Got the little bugger. Ah, and the optical drive tried to come out. So there's that. That screw goes there. Remove the optical drive. 
remove the cable down at the bottom, an IDE cable. Right, let's just set that right there. And there we go. Awesome. Now, back when I was in high school, when this thing was new, I thought the idea was cool, but I didn't like many of the games for it. And the system was a little pricey, so I wasn't able to get a hold of one. I much wanted a PS2, you know, would have much preferred to get one, which I eventually did circa 2003. But, uh, it would be a long time before I would even get a chance to really play an Xbox, and I thought, what's the big deal? Um, in retrospect, owning this one and playing some of the games for it, I can see where, where it was popular. Halo was a pretty good title. Where's that other screw? There's a really annoying screw right here. Uh, like I was saying, Halo is a pretty good game. There are a few uh, others. Mech Assault was the one I always wanted as a child, or as a teenager. I thought it was a really good game. At least it looked good. I'm playing it now, and it's it's, it's hard. That game cheats. Uh, there it goes. There goes everything. But, um... And the, the titles are pretty good. The controller is weird. But that's its own video. Is there a latch for this? There we go. One fried Xbox power supply. Now the problem I had with my original power supply was the joint right here was basically it cracked. So if the power cable wasn't like tensed a certain way to the left or to the right, the Xbox wouldn't power up. That's pretty annoying. So I was going to try to solder it to fix it and I left it touching up here and it sparked and everything went haywire and I freaked out immediately because I knew I had screwed something up. Yay me. Hey, at least I'm not afraid to admit when I mess something up. Some people out there refuse to. But anyway, let's slide this puppy in, set her down, push it in. I'm physically linked up. Looks good. Let's go on and get these screws in here. Now this is the part that I hate, is getting these little screws inside of here. Because again, this is not a magnetic uh, screwdriver. So I pretty much just have to, ah, oh, hey, I got it in, excellent. You have to just kind of drop it in and pray you can get it to uh, go correctly. Does anyone else out there do these kinds of videos? Does it feel weird just talking to a camera? Because I'm always self-conscious on what I'm saying because I just kind of ramble. I try to make the video interesting. If you like the video, do give it a, well, a like on the YouTubes, the little thumbs up, it'd be cool. Let me know, hey, I enjoyed this, hey, this was informative, or hey, I thought you were funny. And of course, if you think I'm a blathering idiot, feel free to comment below. I fully accept uh, criticism that isn't straight up trolling. Seriously, trolls suck. I hate people who do that. They have nothing better to do than to just whine and complain about something. Alright, so that should go like this. It looks like it does. Okay, that's mounted in. So, now to hook up the, or replace the optical and the hard drives. This being an original Xbox, it does have the original Thompson drive in it, which I believe has a problem reading CDRs, but otherwise is good for everything else. Oh yeah, let me go on and zoom out because I'm hooking up the additional stuff. I'm no longer just on the power supply. Put the IDE cable in here. Just to mess with people, sometimes I call it a uh, PATA, PATA cable, because I believe under computer specifications it qualifies as what would be known as parallel ATA, but I'm not sure, as opposed to the current standard of SATA or serial ATA. I, I think that's where the designation comes from, and IDE just is another term for the same thing. You know, sort of a tomato-tomato syndrome, except, well, I guess it's the difference between a sweet potato and a yam. Is there a difference? I don't know. I like only one type of potato, and I like that mashed. There you go. Useless information. Chris likes mashed potatoes. 
And here comes the very annoying part of dropping these screws in and praying that they go. First thing first, I'll just go on and do this one because it's the easier of the two. Put my knife up. Don't need that sitting there. And that screw has completely failed to go in the hole. Wonderful. Right, let me just dump this over and try again. Now go in the hole, little screw. Come on. To be fair, this stuff doesn't even really need to be screwed in, but it just makes sense. I do love the design of this heat sink, how the fan's right there. I mean, that's pretty logical, but you look at computers nowadays, only in these uh, flat designs did they ever really do that. In the tower designs, they never bother with it. All right, drop that down in there, and it didn't even try to go in the hole. Come on. There's one thing you can do if you can't get a screw to go in properly. You can always have the device you're trying to put into, if you can move it that way, put it upside down or on its side and slowly slide in and slowly socket it into where it needs to be. And that went poorly. Okay, this little screw is ticking me off. I'm gonna come back once I'm done dealing with this one tiny little screw in that tiny little hole. Success! Dropped it in about three more times and it actually went in there. Excellent. All right, so the optical drive is hooked up. Now to remount the hard drive. There it is. One of these days I'm gonna go on and do a swap out of this hard drive to a new uh, IDE drive. My concern is doing a proper cloning of this drive because there's a uh, sort of key stored on here that lets the Xbox actually run. It's linked to the BIOS and all kinds of crazy stuff. I don't know exactly what's going on with it, but I know it's got some security locks in there so you can't just swap disks out. And it's a minor annoyance, and I think I have a proper backup of the drive, but I'm not 100%. Whatever case, though, I really, really would like to have my drive uh, cloned and copied, backed up, and be, you know, know that it's good, because this is a modded Xbox, and I do want to keep up with the system for the foreseeable future. You know, I'd like to be able to enjoy it, because I got it in 2010, didn't really have space to play around with it, had other stuff hooked up, and only recently, once I pulled it out of storage, have I been able to actually do anything with it. Come on. You're just a Molex connection. You're not, it's not that hard to get in there. There we go. There we go. Excellent. Now to mount the IDE cable. IDE, IDE, IDE. I like saying that. Now everyone thinks I'm an idiot. Great. Come on. There you go. There you go. Much better. All right, and that slots back in there. And the top of the Xbox, which I purchased, uh, it was marked February 8th of 2010 at Goodwill. Got it for 30 bucks. Cleaned it up. Need to peel these stickers off. But uh, yeah, I've had it since 2010, so it's it's been in my possession for five years. It was probably tossed because of that little power supply problem, where this one, if you didn't have it a certain way, it just it fried out. I don't know, but uh, I feel bad for the guy who gave it up because it's a pretty good little unit. Let's get these screws in and find out what uh, what happened, if I failed or succeeded with the power supply upgrade. All right, the TV is on, the Xbox is hooked up. Have my controller ready. It's alive. It's alive! Okay, I'm sorry, I told my girlfriend that I would put in a Frankenstein joke there, so I had to. But, yep, it is good to go. And of course, it wants to know the date. 6-6-2014, so it thinks it's almost a decade earlier than it is. The time is 12.40 or so, so... 
1240. Oh yeah, now if we hold the trigger combination, we go into Unleash X. Excellent. Well, this is good. This means I will be able to leave absolutely positive feedback on uh, for the seller of the power supply. So thank you to, well, his name's Zach. That's all I'll tell you. Thank you, Zach, for the power supply. Thanks for watching. Catch everyone later.